That's right, everybody. How you doing tonight? This is your boy Dusty on the West Coast, San Jose, California. Once again, beautiful day here. Nice fall day. It's the end of October and it's 80 degrees. It might not be 80 degrees where you are, but that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, those of you who are here to see Maddie Peters, I'm very sorry, but Maddie has come down sick. So we are going to move on. She is very, she's very sorry she couldn't be here. Um, so we're going to give you somebody even more awesome, kind of. Sign kind of awesome. They're all awesome. They're all the CMC. Guess what? We've got Michelle Krieber. We do. We have Michelle Krieber here tonight. But right now I have Monique, her mom. Monique, are you there? I am here. Awesome. Dusty. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. How yes. are you? I am awesome myself. So, uh, yes. The uh, I hear that uh, Michelle had some uh, studies she was doing. So she'll be there. Yeah, in a few. she's doing like about uh, I think it's 22 hours of dance a week right now. Wow. Dance training. I know she is uh, a dance fanatic. She loves dancing. Fanatical. So she does ballet and jazz and hip hop and uh -huh. tap and lyrical uh -huh. and all that stuff and nice. so she's uh, just uh, just yeah in fact she's here so she'll be getting her headphones on shortly nice let me uh, get a I'll get a graphic up there one two three, four, three, four, three. <laughs> it's that one I think but anyway um, yes yeah, so the show is a little bit of a mess because we had so little time to get it up together there she is right over my shoulder uh, the beautiful Michelle Krieber um, so you guys are working on a few different projects. I mean, as last year you guys were working on albums upon albums and now you're working on videos, I hear. Well, yeah, videos and uh, more recordings, it's just not uh, to the point at this moment where we where we're putting out another entire album. Mm -hmm. uh, that that would be the ultimate goal, but at the moment uh, we're working on some singles. Uh, do, we're doing a bunch of collaborations with uh, Black Griffin and uh, also with his brother Basic mm -hmm. and uh, still working on some great stuff with uh, Mando Pony and uh, yeah, so there's uh, got some original material coming out which is really exciting. Uh, some Halloween and some Christmas, so we got yes. <laughs> we got quite a variety. Quite actually. a variety of stuff. Yeah, looking forward to yeah. the Halloween stuff. Halloween's coming up, people. It is. What are you guys doing? What are you guys? What is the Kreber clan doing for the Halloween? You know, we aren't sure yet. <gasps> I know. Last year, we were on a plane to L.A. because we That's went true. to Everfree, uh, not Everfree, sorry. Um, e what was it called? Equestria. Equestria LA. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Equestria. Ever, I've got Everfree Network on the brain. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we went to Equestria L.A. and we actually flew on Halloween. Ah. Um, so that's what we were doing. We were on a plane and then I think we got a couple of little candy bars at the check-in counter at the desk of mm -hmm. the hotel when we got there that was it <laughs> but we're thinking of maybe you know having a few friends over and doing a little halloween party-esque kind oh, of thing halloween what about are awesome yeah what about you what are uh, you doing we're probably we'll probably dress up and greet the kids because we had three families move into our cul-de-sac that have kids now so last oh, year that's there, awesome last year there weren't any kids we're at the end of a cul-de-sac and it's kind of off the beaten path so you know that's exactly, exact, uh, exactly the same as us, yeah. and that that does change it because if we you know had a lot of kids coming here, then we would do something for them. Yeah. But uh, I think last year we or the year before when we were here, we had none. Yeah. And then it, before that, it was like maybe one or two or three, and yeah, it's yeah. Uh, <laughs> a couple a couple of years ago, um, I've got this giant mascot cat costume that I have that I I entertain kids with. But anyway, I, I took one over my buddy's house. They have a better neighborhood more kids right so yeah. i put on my costume and i like just sit on his porch and don't move right? <laughs> and then and then, and then when the kids come up it's like it was, it was really great i gotta tell you the story these teenagers come up right and these teenagers go this one girl just was freaked out by me and she just would she wouldn't go up to the, the door she wouldn't go up there they were pushing her and she was like no no i don't want to go up there I don't want to go up there it's like i didn't move <laughs> didn't move and sure enough, she got the candy, and as soon as she took her eyes off me, I jumped, and she went screaming down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So you completely reinforced oh, yeah. her uh, yep. idea that she shouldn't have gone there to be Freaked begin out. With. Yeah, I know. Uh, if I pulled a rainbow dash, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> I would, I would, do you have it on video? No, th sadly. sadly Dang we didn't it, video that it. would be great I to know. see. We didn't video at that time. So, oh, man. Yep. <laughs> So where, where are they? I know they're there. Okay, one second. Yeah. Hey, Michelle. 
You were being paged. Hello. Okay. Hello. She's See, she's back there. I know and, she's back there. Oh, yeah. One second. Sorry, and. I'm so sorry. Oh. oh I hear she's it. She's camp. She's coming out in the distance. Run, and, run, run, uh, run, run. Mr. Black Griffin. Ah. Oh. Yep, and there's Blackie. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Right. Coming What's up, you guys? Hey, I hear a voice. Let me put the headphones on, and then I might hear it better. There you go. Just... Hey! Hey! Jay! What's up, my boy? Oh, the ceiling currently. It's uh, very foggy above that. It's very and... foggy above that. How <laughs> yes. How is freedom, my man? Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. My hair is touching my ears. Which <gasps> is my oh, my goodness. I keep, like, sometimes I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror, and I'm like, this is so out of ranks. <laughs> 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 no, it's wonderful. It's amazing. I have so much time to work on other stuff. I mean, my brother and I are pumping out tunes and working on stuff with oh, this creebling here. Here she comes. What? Uh, Who is that? Got my egg. Egg. On my plate Th now. That's Rebecca Soisha. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's loud. That loud. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. Justin, my main man. What's up, my woman? How are Good. you doing? How was the dance Good. practice? Very good. I'm, I'm eating dance. my egg. If you're curious you why your some of my words are muffled. Muffled. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, she has yes. to uh, fuel up after fuel expending up. Yes. Uh, several hours worth of dance energy. Protein mm -hmm. is good for <laughs> you. Yes. What style of dance was today? I had uh, almost two and a half hours of ballet, mm -hmm. and then I was my my lyrical was cut short. Ah. But actually, Mondays is one of my the day that I have the least amount of dance. Oh wow! In a week. That's a lot of yes. dance. Yeah, six six days. Wow, six days week. a week. Yeah. Uh, and I will say that's uh, not uh, completely by choice. Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, mm -hmm. We're we're just uh, we're just the drivers, you know. Yep, just driving it. <laughs> um, t t t hey, with with Blackie visiting in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm expecting some awesome, awesome new projects. I know you just did the fifty thou video. Oh yeah, that, oh, that thing was awesome. Preliminary. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, what else? What else is going on between you two? What What else can we expect from the well, team, as it were? In the next, um, I want to say, few weeks, um, we have a Halloween song coming out uh -huh. that, uh, as Monique says, is is a secret, but it's <gasps> going to be thrilling. And then I say, <laughs> and no one gets it. <laughs> No one. No one. <laughs> Especially not in the chat. No. <laughs> understands. No. It's 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 very vague though, you know. A thrilling mm -hmm. song. <laughs> <laughs> On my you, you know, yeah. you know, anyway. he, he. you know, I can just, I can see Gabe, I can see Gabe just you know, you guys are gonna play that in concert, he's gonna go up to the to the first line of girls up there and goes, Can I come down there and sing that for you? And they're gonna go, ah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hi oh, guys. <laughs> I'd like to take your hand when I sing the song to you. <laughs> 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 yes, it's Monday Night Songs all over again. <laughs> Someone in the chat said Michael Shackson. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty killed my headphones. Yeah, mine too. Sorry. <laughs> um, holidays. Ho holidays are coming up fast. Uh, are you planning to perform in and around Vancouver like you did last year? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I think it's going, we've been tossing around a couple of dates. I, uh, we briefly announced that it might be December 2nd, but uh -huh. now it's looking more like December 14th okay. um, mm -hmm. at a beautiful theater in West Vancouver called uh, K Meek Theater. Uh, they're, they're right there. they, have a, they're, they have two theaters there, a big one and a small one, so mm -hmm. we're planning on the larger one. And uh, it's going to feature, of course, uh, Michelle and, and, some, and Michael and uh, us doing some of our stuff from Creeper Christmas, uh -huh. as well as special Black guests. Griffin. Uh, Black Griffin. Yeah. And Mando Pony. Mando Pony's going to be Sharp. here. Yeah. Yeah. I might have yeah. to fly up there for that one. That's going to be a hell of a show. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. uh, then we're hoping to take that show on the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on the road. Air. Mm -hmm. and, well, actually, no. We're taking our ourselves on the road, in and the, the shows it, will be in uh, in uh, at various locations. Okay, mm -hmm. that's Hopefully a really good the, clarification. That's a very dangerous. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I just don't want people to think they're going to have to stand in the middle of the street to hear us or good keep point. up with our trailer. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yes, very good point. That's, yeah. Um, question for Michelle: um, mm -hmm. How does it feel to be one of the very few actresses that ever played a voice in the Peanuts universe? I mean, you played Lucy Van Pelt. How does that feel to be like one of the very few people that actually worked in the Peanuts universe? Well, I feel honored. 
It was just, I was just like, hey, I can't express. No, it was a wonderful experience, and um, it introduced me to the business. It's mm -hmm. what got me here today. Um, I'm very thankful for that production, and it was a lot of fun, especially because it's such a classic character. Oh, yeah. and I I felt like I had this huge role to to come make it come to life again. It was very exciting. Cool. I was blown away with how much you sound like the traditional voice, like when I actually heard it. That was just my regular voice. I didn't even think I sounded like her. Oh, it's <laughs> to ridiculous. Be I was like, you. what? <laughs> uh, how, much, how much practicing of yanking a football did you do? Grow up. Uh, did you hear what he said? <laughs> Sorry? How much practicing of yanking a football did you do? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Huh. I, I already had experience with that, yeah. so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I played uh, a game with Marley, my dog, where oh. I put the toy in front of him, and then I'll pull it away, pull away. and then I'll put it back, pull it away, pull it back, pull it away, so, you know, I got it covered. Cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Apple Bloom is pretty good with a set of tools, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. If you could build anything you ever wanted to, what would you oh. build? Oh, that that's... Oh, yes. That's a really good question. I'd love, 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 love to build... Like the most fun house you'd ever see, It'd just be filled with the coolest gadgets, mm -hmm. and and there, Gabe and I both thought it'd be really cool if if there was a room that was full of like trampolines, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. just trampolines everywhere, so you'd bounce off the walls. They have those places. Anywhere. They have I those know. places here in San Jose. Like oh. like ceilings, walls. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Everything Isn't that cool. Yep. Everything. Yeah, what I would want to do is jump on one and then turn upside down and jump off the ceiling. One yeah. Oh go. yeah. <laughs> Did you know that um, that the Gabe's been right teaching Michelle how to do a backflip? Uh -huh. Yes, I saw the video. Mm -hmm. I saw yeah. the video. Oh, and I did shit. one. Good uh -huh. story. Here's. You know what? I would be more impressed if Gabe could teach me to do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's the there's the question of spotting. Uh, typically, yes. if you're going to spot someone, they have to be shorter than you or smaller. Uh, I don't know if you could find anyone. <laughs> who's shorter than you. Yeah, didn't play NFL football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I could get a, a stepping stool or stilts or something. Still, so that'll put Stilts. you in yeah, a stable exactly. position for spotting. I'd, lo I'd love to get, I'd love to get you down here. I'd love to get you down here, Gabe, because we've got uh, rock climbing like you wouldn't believe up in the yeah. up in the Los Gatos mountains. Actually, yeah. love, the meat. love it, love it. Um, in the episode Showstoppers, Michelle. Yes. Not only did you have to sing badly for one character, you had to sing badly for two. You mean normally? Yeah. There you go. Um, how tough was that session? Well, to be honest with you, I got I got it easy. Maddie was the one that had no voice the next day. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't actually have to sing bad for Sweetie Belle. I j and Apple Bloom wasn't even supposed to sound that terrible. Daniel told me t that Apple Bloom was sort of in the middle, so mm -hmm. she was just, I don't know, average, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's still kind of pitchy. Um, but the, th the thing is, is that for fun sometimes in the house, mm -hmm. I'll sing like really badly just for fun. Okay. Just to annoy her parents? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just to annoy mom and dad. And so I, kn I knew what I was doing, you know? Uh-huh. That's good. Um, <laughs> but it was really fun. And uh, poor Maddie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was, so ruined. That was going to be one of my questions for Maddie tonight. It's like, Maddie, are you, are you back from that or not? Um, <laughs> apparently not. Apparently. Uh, so... Apple Bloom has her own episode, Cutie Box. Scootaloo had her own episode, Sleepless in yeah. Bill. Do you think Sweetie Belle will get her own episode soon? Doesn't she have yeah, her own episode? Yeah, well, wasn't that the, the, um, the one, Sister Hoof Social? Well, Sister Hoof Social is sort of like a rarity episode, too. Oh, yeah, I guess so. True. Mostly, it was a together thing. But, you know, Apple Bloom had her thing. Scootaloo had her thing, right? So, you think that Sweetie Belle's going to get her own I can't say specifics, but oh, I know. But uh, just, just thinking you know, about it, nothing. Possibly, don't tell us anything yeah. about season four. Just in your in your mind. You know, oh, in my opinion, yeah, I think Sweetie Bill definitely deserves an episode. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that we can make that happen. <laughs> Absolutely, because I, I love Claire. I love I love her little squeaky oh. thing that she does. Oh my god, she's insane. It's amazing. She's, she's insane. insane. It's it's, it's hard hilarious. Fun. Yes. Um, we've been told that no Babseed 
anytime soon. No, she's not coming back. And but it sort of pains me that she's not coming back because she's cool. She's a good character. But yeah. if she was coming back for an episode, in your mind, what would that episode be like? What would you? What would <laughs> Apple Bloom think? Well, they're very close now. Mm-hmm. Um, the last left Babseed being one of the Cutie Mark Crusaders yeah. and everything. So I'm pretty sure that if Babs came back to Ponyville, then mm-hmm. they would go on some adventure or something crazy like that, maybe travel somewhere. Mm-hmm. Or or maybe the Cutie Mark Crusaders go to Manhattan. That's what I'm thinking. That's a possibility. Yeah. I they, think they should record that on site if they do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, on location. Wait, 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 on location in Manhattan. We're method actors, guys. Come on, method. really. There you go. <laughs> yep. So if Apple Bloom, if Apple Bloom, say went to Manhattan, mm-hmm. okay, sort of like Applejack did to visit Babs, what do you mm-hmm. think those two would get into? Oh, I just had an idea. Yeah. Not about Apple Bloom. I bet you, Sweetie Belle, they would accidentally find themselves at like Broadway auditions, okay. and Sweetie Belle. Uh, oh, wouldn't that be great. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes. That would be awesome. And they and they would go, and Sweetie Belle would. End up on Broadway. Yes. And, and Broadway. And get her cutie mark. Broadway. I want to become a Broadway producer. Bruce. Gave it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let me check that one off. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've talked a little bit about this one. Uh, last time, this time of year, you the album Timeless Songs of a Century had just dropped. Um, yep. You were deep, deep, deep in the production of the Christmas album. Um, mm-hmm. And now you're going this little tour. Any any uh, specific dates for the tour? Mom? Uh, well, the December 14th in Vancouver is right. what we're looking at. Uh, we're looking at, uh, hopefully, so we're considering the first week of December for Seattle and or L.A. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we're looking at December the 21st for D.C. Ah, all the way across country. Yes. Wow. And so, so basically, uh, over the next couple of days, there'll be some a campaign coming out where people can, you know, if they want to pr- support that idea, they can mm-hmm. purchase their he- their tickets ahead of time, and that will help to ensure that it happens. But there's also um, other um, perks that if we're not coming to a city that you live in mm-hmm. or that you're that it's accessible for you. Okay. Then you can purchase some of the packages that uh, you know like prize- cookies. Like cookies. Yes. Last year, the cookies were insanely popular. Yeah, so, were. yes, the There's only thing is, different prizes. Yeah, we're stuff. gonna need help. Actually, Gabe, you, you might have to come and help us make cookies. That might be. Um, <laughs> cookie Actually, making. I got a thing. What day is it? <laughs> what? Well, are, we'll you tell, are you telling me the Navy you didn't teach you how to cook? <laughs> uh, uh, um, um, I hear you're really artistically inclined. Like you could decorate. Decorate. Them. There you um, go. Um, you yeah. see, you misheard. I said autistically inclined. <laughs> <and>, um, <laughs> No. I can vouch for that. No. <laughs> no. But anyway, she's right. There will be some uh, some cookie packages available <laughs> because they were. I mean, they were so popular. We have to be careful that we don't overcommit Oversell. to how many. I think we had to make six hundred and fifty last yeah. year. Oh That's a lot of cookies. It was, yeah, it was a crazy them. amount of cookies. Crazy so. cookies. Yeah, so there'll be this will be coming out over the next couple of days, so people can stay tuned. And yeah, that you know, if, they, if a lot of people are saying they want it, and mm-hmm. if they do want the shows to happen and they're okay to get their tickets ahead of time, then we'll know if there's enough support to make them happen or not. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. Not only are you doing voice acting and music and dancing, mm-hmm. but TV movies, smart cookies. And your own show on Everfree Network every Saturday night. Saturday night songs. Watch it. Yep. On top of this, there's the Speedy and Stretch show. Yep. Do you ever sleep? No. Ever? Sometimes. Sometimes? You just like keep going. It's like in the middle of a take and you're like. Yep. I'm done. In between sketches. In between Did you sketches. see Elf? There's a line where he goes, of course did I you get any Elf. sleep? And he goes, oh yes, I got a full five minutes and I had time to build that rocking horse. I think that's Michelle. Oh. <laughs> her grandparents you gave her. That you, that her, you even have to ask that. Her grandparents gave her a Christmas them. ornament of oh, the yeah. Ever Ready Bunny when oh, she was little. So I this see. is this uh, this uh, amount of energy and 
lack of needing a lot of sleep is not a new phenomenon. Energy. Nice, nice. energy. <laughs> speaking, <laughs> speaking of speedy and stretch, when can we expect another episode? Well, we're not quite sure if we're going to do the episodes necessarily anymore because mm -hmm. half of the trouble um, became like editing them all together and uh -huh. stuff uh -huh. and well the, oh, can I yeah go ahead um it, it's not that they're not going to do more speedy and stretch no, but not it won't be a compilation yeah, of episodes we're gonna do be, separate each episode sketches. will be released individually yeah, separate. yeah. so the in each, other words it's going for it's going from it all the time which yeah. i think is better than like once well, every 2 months there's an episode yeah what know? what we were doing before was waiting till we had enough material well mm -hmm. not just the material but the time to edit it right. yeah. to do an entire episode which was about 14 minutes long uh -huh. and and Those then and then we would release the segments within those episodes so why does one af afterwards right. as um you know as individual things so now we're reversing it now we're releasing individual Last Sorry. <laughs> she's answering a question in the chat I had to do that. <laughs> yeah. um now we're um we're doing the pieces uh -huh. and then we'll probably put together mm -hmm. uh full episodes from those pieces so we're doing it in reverse so that we're not waiting so long to put stuff out in between so we've actually released new sketches and videos over the last few weeks every week we've released something okay, there's cool. the there's the i hope you dance video I hope you dance. There's yeah. the, uh, Love it. <laughs> there's the uh alice in wonderland the full yes. sketch of that the came, out. came out yep Actually, we released on I Saturday Night Songs uh, a new sketch with Gabe and Michelle Alice. and Natalie called The Discussion, but we haven't put it up on Michelle's yeah. YouTube channel oh, yet. No. I missed that. So that's, that's coming out soon, yes. 24, 24. It's a long discussion about we're not sure what. 42. Ah, cool. By the way, Michelle. Michelle, yes? did you like my uh, you like my homage to Speedy and Stretch? Oh, it's beautiful. I love oh, how you, you, you created your own sort of... Uh, I don't even, I don't even know what it is, but it's sort of like a signal to the to the heaven, like yeah. a the spiritual gods, you know the. But but are Dusty, I things? have a video of you and Natalie doing that equestrian. Oh, do you? It's so oh, funny, yeah. you guys like you just tap it really slowly, and then all of a sudden your arms just shoot out, and your oh. arms they come slowly down. I gotta have that. I gotta and have we, that. Why, and we want to get you on Speedy and Stretch. Too. I want to be on Speedy and Stretch. Yeah. Hopefully, I can come up this year because I want to come up for I want to go to Whistler and snowboard this year. Well, we well then we have to get you on Speedy and Stretch. Because maybe we could do it in Whistler. With that, yeah. that would be so. I cool. love Whistler. We still do yeah. those. Yeah, and we morning. wanted to. Uh, we haven't been up there lately. Oh, so you said yeah. the summer place. Well, it's summer or winter. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's both summer and winter there. Sometimes? Well, yes, major skiing. That's weird. major skiing. Yes, yeah. the seasons affected Whistler. That's. I was being when, uh... <laughs> <laughs> when you were doing when you were doing the movie Equestria Girls. Was it any different than a regular episode? Did they tell you you were humans in this one? Or did they just said, hey, here's a new episode, just do it? Actually, it's Not more... at all. Actually, I thought it was a regular session because they didn't tell us. It was a movie. They gave us a script. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I only had three lines. And if you have five lines or less and it's a pretty large script, you don't read the whole thing. Right. If yeah. your character's in it a lot, mm -hmm. then it's your job as a voice actor voice actor to learn the script and know it, you uh -huh. know? But it's not it's It doesn't not take required. much work to prepare right. context-wise if you just have yeah. a few lines in mm -hmm. an episode. You just read the it's scenes before well, and yeah. after. So, um, I don't know, what what was it? Like, a bunch of months later. Yeah. Oh, like, I, I think a year. A year, we, yeah. To be honest, we did not know that Michelle was even in that movie. Yep. So oh, people really? started people started messaging her and saying, "Are you in Equestria Girls?" and we thought, "No." And then somebody said, "Well, who's who's voicing uh Apple Bloom?" and we're like, like "Apple what? Bloom's in Equestria so Girls." So up on IMDb and it says Michelle Creamer. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so we Why had did I, do I this? went back through the email and looked through scripts and stuff and went, "Oh, oh I is. guess she did do wow. that." Wow. Wow, we didn't actually realize and mm -hmm. and yeah. Cool. So it's not the first time the fans have informed us of something that she's done, you know, mm -hmm. that's happened mm -hmm. before. Oh, yeah. Um, Claire mm -hmm. is into Minecraft. Maddie mm -hmm. has her volleyball. What is it that you do in your time off with Little of It Is Hers? Um, I love hockey. Hockey, hockey is hockey, hockey. something that I'm very, very passionate about. I love playing it. I love watching hockey. my Canucks. Yes. They're the best. Uh -huh. Henry and Daniel are my heroes. Uh -huh. Why they lose to the Sharks twice? 
Uh, well, <laughs> you know, I don't know what where our deal is, but the sharks <laughs> have this sort of, I don't know. They have this thing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, I, well, I, and of course, um, I've already mentioned dance. Yep, 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 nope. yep, yep. Um, but hockey is definitely sort of a hobby. I'll go outside when I can and put the net out, mm-hmm. do some shots and stuff. I need to teach Gabe how to play hockey. Hey, I'll teach I, Gabe how to play I, hockey. It's the stick. It's the stick. I blame it on the stick. You, you put Dude. the you put the, the black the black thing in the. Dude, in the... I taught myself to skate on a frozen river. I can, nice. I can teach you hockey. <laughs> I, love I, I I am a skater. I'm yeah. a great. I'm a, I'm from Alaska. <laughs> you gotta know. You gotta. And you, and you can't hold a hockey stick. I can. They've got. They have a left-handed hockey stick. Oh. Pfft. You know, there's a billion sporting goods stores up there. It's Canada for crying out loud. Go buy well, one. To be honest, the plan was to go get a new stick today until we got the call that uh, there was a sudden... So it's my fault now. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, I didn't want to say that. It's my fault. <laughs> Entirely. In fact, I actually, I actually have two sticks, but we have to get another one because I don't... Mm-hmm. I, I, it's, only, it's on the verge of breaking oh. the other one, so I don't want it to be... And if I touch it, it'll just fall apart because yes. my intense... Yes. You know, speaking like, speaking of what, speaking of your Canucks, know. speaking of your Canucks, how did that contest go about singing the national anthem? Uh, it was, it I it was oh like we went to the live auditions uh-huh. and uh, a client of my uh, dad's actually one really really good singer. Oh cool! But uh, yeah, it was it was fun and um, got some prizes and some good experience out of it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, in fact, uh, we're wearing uh, one of the pairs of headphones that she won right now. <laughs> Sweet. Hopefully they call you back, because normally when they do that thing, it's like then they gather up. Well, all these people are good enough. That person won. Maybe we'll call you back later in the year. Yeah, maybe then they did say like, even though oh, maybe. you guys didn't win, there's a lot of good... Yeah, most of them were adults and mm-hmm. uh, there was uh, Michelle and then one other younger oh, we can girl. Hope. Yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and awesome how much everybody supported it. That was oh great. yeah, that was great. Yeah, I mean, I liked thanks. it. Um, yeah. When are we going to see this tweeted video? Oh, uh, oh, as soon as I can. I would love to show it to you right all, now. We uh, have some. Oh. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's, it's gonna blow everyone's minds. It's, it's gonna, gonna be like explode. the new Brony meme. It's mm-hmm. it's yeah. it's got everyone. It's ridiculous. Except it's for Ashley so Ball. excited. <laughs> so excited. I'm in it. At woman. Screwball's in it. So. Yes, yes. yes, you're in it. You're I'm in it. it. Screwball's in it. You're in, you're in the same scene. So we're going to have some fun. Take a, take a guess as to who some other people are that are in it. And, I'll, and we'll say yes or no. And we'll no. say yes or no. Okay. Just, just take, um, take a guess. It will always be yes. Unless uh, uh, Paleo and Saber Spark. Yes. Yeah. Saber yes Spark. to one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Final Draft. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, Stefan Andrews. Sad. Yeah. Oh wait, did we get him? No, he was in New York when we. Oh, he's in New yeah. York. Right? So no, 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 not yet. Anyway, not yes. Anyway, um, we did let's not see. Um, we know Andrea's in it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Andrea, she's, she's singing in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, she's singing it. Awesome. And yeah. Cool. Um, let's see. Now, let's move. Uh, Halloween's coming up. So, what kind of costume are you wearing, Michelle? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not quite sure because there's I don't really do anything for Halloween. Uh-huh. We just like to buy candy. But if we do have some people home. over, then you'll have to think of something. Yeah, the I, thing I is, can is busted up so hockey player. Here, I can see it. So <laughs> that's dead a good here. idea. All the people I, on yeah, the street. I, Actually, it's quite uh, beneficial when you walk around in my neighborhood because mm-hmm. no one goes around there so when you're the only when you're basically the only kid in that area mm-hmm. they just give you like their entire whole bags <laughs> they so call they call you up a week before and say what kind of candy you want <laughs> D- dusty lives on the end of a cul-de-sac as well so yep. he was saying before you came on uh you the same that, problem uh, the i love problem, my cul-de-sac yeah. though it's, it's i feel yeah. like because um all the people on our street are well, no, there's no, no kids come. there's no like kids here. They're no. all very nice elderly people. So I I I basically own this cul-de-sac, man. <laughs> it's amazing. I I love it. I just go out there. No one drives past me for hours and hours. I do whatever I want. It's amazing. I, I can just see you, Gabe, with the with the the Wayne's World car. Move the move the net over. Game on. Move the name back. Uh, <laughs> we back. actually that happened not too long ago with the air. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're playing. Oh, the Aerobee. We accidentally hit something. We have to car. do, we have to finish the Aerobee video. That's yeah. what oh. we do. 
Cool. All oh, right. Okay, so we are at commercial time. So we're going to go to commercial, and when we come back, we'll have more with these wonderful people, but we'll go through hey, upcoming yeah. conventions, and we'll go through charity work, and then we'll have questions from you out there in the live studio audience. So don't go anywhere. Oh. We'll be right back. Cool beans, man. I've got better things to do around here than brushing my teeth. Dental hygiene is just so not cool. No time to brush. Must finish these dresses. Helicorns don't need to brush their teeth. I'll just use your toothpaste cannon. Um, I, I, um. If you're like any of these ponies, your dental hygiene is no good. And that's why you come to Colgate's Dentistry. We guarantee clean teeth in 30 minuets or less. Now come on, say it with me, Rainbow Dash. Ugh, brushy, brushy, brushy. Ah! Rainbow Dash, hold still! <laughs> That's right, you go down to Colgate's Dentistry down there in Ponyville because you eat too much candy, especially after Halloween. And, huh. and Colgate is going to get on you. She's going to clean your teeth with a scraper. Get it all oh. off for you because everybody needs nice, clean teeth. Remember to floss or she will find you. I don't <laughs> like that idea. She will. Now I kind of I want to come up with a really cool Halloween costume, but uh -huh. I just don't know who's going to see it, you know? You have a video camera, love. Pa yes. 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 It's true. I have Absolutely. Twitter. There's always Twitter. There's always Twitter. Um, you know... Oh. <laughs> I have my foot on the wire. I always do that. Yes. Um, but I, we have a costume room here. A massive, massive room dedicated fully to costumes. Mm. It's very well, organized. Room, it's just a standard bedroom size, but it's the co it's the amount of costumes is uh, massive. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's actually. If I think about it, compared to normal costume rooms, it's mm -hmm. quite. <laughs> so we are going to go into the right. house. So we go into upcoming conventions now. Upcoming conventions are as follows. First is Brony Days Paris, France, October 26th and 27th. They are going to have M.A. Larson, Jan, Anima Jan Animations, Laser Pony, Ellie Monty, and the Russian pony band, the Prozwalski Brothers. We'll be there. Ooh, I have no idea nice. what Russian brony music is like, but we'll find it there. And next would be Running of the Leaves, Denver, Colorado. That is October 31st to November 3rd. They will have an actual Running of the Leaves contest, foot race, a rave, a nightmare night party, and Soul Rack is a guest of honor for that one. Then the big one this fall is Nightmare Nights in Dallas, Texas, November 8th to 10th. Andrea Libman, Peter New, Brenda Crislaw, Woody Wooten, Jim Miller, Sibsey Larson, GM Barrow, Jason Thiesten, Pixel Kitty, Sophie Camera, Full Papers! And me <laughs> are all going to be there, uh, and it, so check out uh, nightmarenights.net for all the information on that one. Uh, it's going to be huge, huge. Um, then in the spring, we're going to have BabsCon, right stinking here in San Francisco, California, April 18th to 20th, 2014. Andrea Libman, GM Barrow, and announced this week, M.A. Larson and Amy Keating Rogers are going to be here. And for music, we're going to have your beat Brony, Fanning, Tarby, and Michael A. Probably more are going to be on that list because some local guys I know, Mike the Microphone, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, should be there. If he isn't, I'll drag his butt. Um, <laughs> so, also, they have their own OC, Golden Gates, and she has an Ask Tumblr. So it's Ask Golden Gates. If you want to ask her any questions about anything, you can go over there. And then, Canterlot. Convention, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, November 16th and 17th. Uh, Rena Chan, Hot Diggity Demon, Jesse Nowak, DJ Midley, and Dean Pegasus will all be there. Check out canalot.ticketbud.com slash canterlot 2013 for tickets to that one. So that's all the charity that is fit to print this shoe. And then we go into charity. So last week, last week, that was two weeks ago, we had Ellie Monty on the show. And we had Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America because her dad has Crohn's disease. So we came up with 680 bits for that. And we got pulled out of the dumps by $310 from an anonymous donor. Thank you very much. I know who you are. I'm not saying your name because you don't want to say it. But I know who you are and you're watching. Thank you. Uh, so with that, I have a hat full of names right over here. 
And for these prizes, because we made our $500, let me get my, let me get my glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Don't <laughs> say that word. Ah, so, prizes are this shave kit. Really, this shave kit right here. So, and this book, collector book. This is Welcome to Equestria with our princess on it. And this blind bag set with rarity, photo finish, and eh, toy toy too. So he's in there. And this autographed from Andrew Francis. All up for grabs right now with this, this hat full of names. I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to pick it up right here. We're going to pick it up right here. Mm -mm -mm. This one. And the winner is... Ironheart, Ironheart, you are the winner this time. So I will contact you after the show to get all your contact info, get all the names out of my hat, put my hat on my head. There we go. <laughs> so, I'll put my glasses back on. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Got my hat on. <laughs> now, do. There, hey, shh. <clears throat> oh. Michelle. Yes. What is your charity? Well, a um, portion of the proceeds for all our CDs, um, all, all, all the CDs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, go to Because I Am a Girl campaign, which is, is a fantastic movement to help um, young women and girls in third world countries and uh, really struggling uh, to live. And so it gives them an education, gives them... Uh, shelter and nurtures them and uh, helps strengthen their community. And it's, mm -hmm. it's all around a wonderful, wonderful movement. So when you buy uh, any of our Kreber CDs, just know that you will be helping, literally, a uh, girl and uh, possibly country like, I don't know, India, mm -hmm. somewhere. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. That is awesome. We are also going to have a link on manliesbrony.com to a page that we've set up in Michelle's honor. It was Maddie. It'll be Michelle. When Maddie comes on, we'll do it again for the same charity. But if you go there, click the link, it'll take you over. You make a donation and you will be in the raffle for this stuff. Actually, it's a giveaway, not a raffle. Giveaway. So I got another round of stuff over here. Here we come. So one, brushable rainbow dash. Brushable rainbow dash right here. So one of those. This vinyl scratch cell phone plug goes in the end of your cell phone. It's kind of cool. I picked one of those up for you. And this copy of issue 10, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic comic book. This is part two of the Big Mac story with the Hot Topic cover. And that is for five bucks minimum. Now, if we crack 500 bits, I got something special for you. Wait for it, because it's cool. It's over here. I'm going to get it right now. Are you waiting yet? Yeah, it's over there. Let me get it for you. This derpy backpack, exclusive Hot Topic. This is the one that has the derpy hoodie with the freaking mane on it. Isn't it cool? Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Amazing. Amazing. This thing is awesome. So, let me put the stuff that back in there. That, if we, hit, that. if we hit 500 bits, this is up for grabs. If we don't hit 500 bits, I keep in it. It's mine. But I'm <laughs> sure we're going to hit 500 bits, because we always do. So, that... Is for the charity because I'm a girl. So go to manlysbrony.com, click the link, go over there, give you money, and you will be in for that. Thank you very much, everybody, for your support once again because we love you all and we love helping people, don't we? Yes, we do. Absolutely. Hey, 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 you know what, Michelle? You need to help me here. You need to call okay. for Screwball because he's m missing again. Screwy. Screwball? Screwy. Yes? Screwy. Oh, there he is. Where are you? Screwball! I'm Oh my god, hey guys. Squirrelly! <laughs> Where are you? I'm, 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 What's up, my screwball? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you guys? I love you all. Oh, we're awesome. How are you doing tonight? Good. Uh, I was I was like last minute getting here because of a car accident that happened near where I work. Oh. So there was, there was lots of traffic, lots of issues. Oh, but I made it, it and I'm happy. Yay! No, no. Good. Yeah. I don't know and why I, I thought you saying like, yeah, I just got into a car accident, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <And I'm> <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it wasn't me, thank goodness. That would be ten times got worse. From the hospital. <laughs> I just want to know if you're wearing your pink suit. Oh, that was hilarious. I'm not right now, actually. Disappointed. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, still in my, I'm still in my work clothes. I got my Rainbow Dash belt buckle, though. Yeah. I guess that... <laughs> but I've been reeling in questions like fudging crazy. It's fudging unbelievable. Crazy. Like, this, this is in, intense. But, um... <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna go right on ahead. Do oh, it. crap. Why am I... Hey, buy some apples. <laughs> um, oh, so this one uh, I like to put first is from Jamie, one of my very awesome friends. Um, Jamie. Uh, he makes these awesome little drawings, and uh, he says that he remembers that Michelle said that uh, that one of his drawings is currently hanging up on your wall, Michelle, and he was just wondering which one it was. Which job? Are you talking about Jamie Fellow? That's the one. Oh. The one, um, is it, I think it's one of the ones that he drew of, uh, you. I don't remember, yeah. you know what, I, we're not in that room right yeah. now, so I, I'd have to go check and see which one it is. Um, we'll have to take a picture and send it. Might be one of them, it's an apple bloom. Oh, it's an apple bloom? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's alright, I'll go right on to the next one. Um, <laughs> maybe even tweet to him or something. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. Did he see uh, it up? If he checks the last couple of videos, he should be able to see which one it is. Actually, he, uh, no, he's, been no, I, he's currently sending me a, a lot of, of his drawings. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, I love his artwork. <laughs> yeah, and he said he sent a package too, which we haven't received yet, but we'll, we'll let him know when mm -hmm. it arrives. <laughs> I'll go for the next one. So this one is from the ghost of Arv... 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 Arv Arvas. I, I hope I say your name right. <laughs> um, uh, uh, question for Michelle: What's it like being one of the most mature voice actors on the show? Is it hard to keep? Is it hard <laughs> keeping the others in check? Well, I I may appear mature. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I may phrase my sentences in a mature fashion and present myself. Do you let Gabe's just giggling in the background? My goodness. I'm giggling in front of you, so there you go. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, uh, it's, it's sort of like my, my work mode. Mm -hmm. That's 1% of me. <laughs> so, you know, just... She's a good actress. No, not, no, it's, it's not that. There's just craziness within i'd say mm -hmm. it's, it comes like, with it's like it's like intelligent though and you're... uh a malteser you know you have that nice chocolatey outside and then it's crunchy inside but it's still good it's just <laughs> not as, as as um i don't know what analogy okay, i'm that... trying to sometimes you feel like there. a nut and sometimes you don't but uh you know see i just had a malteser so i know what you're saying <laughs> I love Maltesers. I actually have Maltesers right oh. here. I'm not going to lie. No, 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 no. Most it's, Americans it's don't a, know what no, that is. We have no idea what that is. You don't have Cadbury. It's like Almond I'm Joy in Mounds. Not, you you see, don't have Cadbury in America. They're all over the UK, and they're all over the, Canada. They're so yeah. much better in the UK. Yep. Just a crunch bar, guys, Swear. for you American citizens in here. And they have these, like, chocolate <laughs> bars now. They're called it's teasers. like a Reese's. You see chocolate on the outside, you bite, and you're like, oh, my goodness, Oh, my God. So what you're saying is, is the maturity is a persona that's only on the outside? Is that what you're getting at? I think that's what you're getting at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. Okay. I'm basically, I'm basically yeah. <laughs> Still 14 yeah. apart. <laughs> ah, so this one is from Imperius. Uh, question is, what's the biggest difference between the speaking role of a character and the singing role? Uh, well... You know, the fact that you're singing when you're <laughs> the character, <laughs> not much, because he just, just, <laughs> just laughing. Um, but you just try to, like, for me, I, Sweetie Belle's not, like, I, I don't do the speaking voice for Sweetie Belle, so I try to make her singing voice sound, <laughs> you love that Rainbow Dash plushie. <laughs> um... <laughs> I just try to make her sound as much like her speaking voice as possible, just so it's believable. And um, yeah, I don't really think that characters sound much different when they're singing. They're just you go into a different in room song, for the singing. You know? No. Oh. 
I go to a different country. You know, the singing really comes from. Uh, Are you talking Polish about recording Sweden. it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we go to Sweden when uh, <laughs> oh, it's just boy. for inspiration. You know, we're, yeah. we're method actors. I'm go not there, quite stare sure. Stare at the where... mountains and then come back and yeah, record the song. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. Whoever asked that question is, is going to be sorry. The hills are alive oh. with the sound of <laughs> apple <laughs> bloom. Voice acting. Next. Oh goodness. Uh, so Mama. this one is from Gavin Jaff. Question for all: What would your dream Halloween costume be? Mm. Oh, oh, the thing is, is that I can think, I, I can think so many things right now that I want to be. I, I, I can't pick one. Ah, oh, I don't know. I know what mine I is. I usually dress up as my the the characters I've created. Um, Natalie Sharp. Uh, some of you may know she Stretch and Speedy and Stretch. Um. You should go check out Speed and Stretch. I don't know. <laughs> Good pitch. Yeah, Shameless plug. <laughs> I know, right? I got, okay. I got one for you, yeah. Michelle. Yeah? Look over my shoulder in a second. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, not only did I created this character, uh, what character is called Charles Dick of Sam? We'll go around talking like this. We actually went to a restaurant in West Vancouver. And talk like this. Everyone stared at us. It was wonderful. When you first did that, I thought you were doing drunk Apple. I know, right? <laughs> I thought you were doing drunk Bill Cosby. What is that? And then uh, two years ago, I wanted this crazy character named like uh, Alicia. Uh, I forget what her last name was, but it was like this really weird character that I created. And then last year, I was. On a plane. Yep. Where? Dad and I was trying to remember. We were going to Equestria. We were talking about that before you came we're on the show. We were going to Equestria. That doesn't yeah, make sense. Yeah, on Halloween we flew. Oh, November. Cause, for, oh, yeah, because we went to Right. A, to a oh, my gosh. Look at Max and you. Oh, Max. Hi, Max. 11 then. Where's Max? Actually, 11 you know what? I should picture. let Max in because he's scratching That's... at the door. One sec. And while you're uh, my dream costume, I've actually built. I just am um, in Canada now, so I can't get to it. It's probably in the middle of the Pacific Ocean right now. Oh, my. Uh, and it is the... Uh, Halo Three Master Chief Spartan Molnar armor. Because I know, I, a, I know a guy that could actually commission that for you. I <laughs> built. You know I'm what done. mine would be? Have it. It's completely built and it's uh, reinforced with fiberglass. It can take paintball rounds, which is why I originally built it. What? You, you, you know what mine would be? Lieutenant Worf in full Klingon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> with the with the ridges and everything. Oh yeah, ridges and paint, body paint, and the whole armor, yeah. everything. Okay. Okay. I could be King Julie, Julie the, Julie the, the human in the chat said Michelle's mustache is better than Dusty's. Didn't think that was even possible. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> no, 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 not Michelle. happening. That's satire. not happening. No, it's not possible. It's, uh, no, any, no, no, any, any, any girl who can put a paper towel on her face and call her mustache better than mine don't work. <laughs> yeah. That funny. Is it Kleenex, by the way? <laughs> Cream. No, 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 no. We, you know, tape. Dusty, your mustache, <laughs> mustache video yes. was, was, oh, was the, the first, first thing. the first brony video that we ever saw, and Michael and Michelle and I gathered chef. around <laughs> and watched it about four times in a so row, funny. and we just <laughs> he laughed. Eats, we really. love that video. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, I just have to go and straight up ask Gabe. You said you yep. made that master master chief out yes, armor, it. right? Yes. Do you do commissions? Okay. Uh, <laughs> not in Canada, he doesn't. It seriously took me over a year to finish this. I did not think it was going to be so See, hard. I this, made it, this is, uh, coated it with aqua this, and then fiberglass and paint, and it was wow. ridiculous. See, this is where my Halloween costume comes in. I want an Isaac Clark Dead Space outfit so <laughs> gosh darn bad, but they cost $3,000 <laughs> from a, a commissioner. They're like, oh, half price, please. Wow. Well, <laughs> I actually spent a thousand dollars on this armor, so I can understand why it's uh, why their the commission is so expensive because it's so really? much labor. Yeah, I did not expect to spend that much. I had like a three hundred dollar mental budget for it, and it just keeps getting more and more expensive as you make mistakes. Yeah. And, as and you... the more you got into it, the better you wanted yes, it to be. Yes, exactly. Right? Such... And I'm still not happy with it. I don't yeah. think I'll ever. Be. I probably uh, won't ever wear it. I don't know what I want to be. This is driving me crazy. Crazy. You want to be? You want to be Black Griffin? <laughs> no. <laughs> no one wants to be black. Oh! I don't even think that's well, uh, that, uh, Fighting that's... words. The sass. The sass here the is sass. just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Great. <laughs> ridiculous. Well, oh, 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 oh. 
Next. Oh. Actually, I could be that. Yes. We could okay, be I think, I I think uh, be Screw is trying to ask another question. Yay. If I, if I might cut in Sorry. there. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm totally getting this um, question. Uh, this one's from Saber Spark. Uh oh. Saber! Oh. Saber! We want to do the river raft again. I love yes. you, Saber. Oh, you took the question. He's oh, asking, no. when are we going to Disneyland again? <laughs> oh, okay, here's the deal. Please. If if the fans make the you LA concert it. happen, we will do Disneyland Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Yes. And, and but, guys, but Sabres in Georgia. this means if you well, come to, to the concert, concert. When, is, when we, are we going to Disneyland again? Here, so here, we come. will have a day. He asked the question. Whoa, we will have a day where the fans that have come to our concert can come with us to Disneyland. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. And get the idea. full Kreber Disneyland experience. Um, We're very, trust me, very, trust me, it's crazy. Do you want Bryce there? That's He's very enlightened. What? In I said, it's, sure, that's a good idea. I just mean <laughs> for the fans' sake. I went to want the full Kreber oh, experience. Oh, wait a second. I get where you're going with this. <laughs> I've, I've went through the Kreber Disneyland experience yes. twice, and let's just say it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> you know, and we don't want to get Dusty, we did that with you, too. Yes, we did. And, and I mean, honestly, Dusty, do you remember how hard we laughed for being on that river raft? Oh, my God. It? I laughed so hard I almost fell out. Oh. I did. <laughs> it was like, it was incredibly hey, funny. Saber. Will you come to Disneyland? Though that's the question. Will you come to LA? Ooh. The ball's in your court, Saber. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> well, he's thinking about that next week in December. Was yeah. it you when Natalie and I and um, and who was? It? I think it was like Saber and Race went on Splash Mountain. And <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. were you you were on that, right? Yeah. Was that the most fun thing? It ever? was. I still have the video. <laughs> No, oh, no, yeah, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Oh, no, wait, that was Splash Mountain. Was the, uh, that's one of the the sheer drop right oh, there. Oh, right? no, I was not that one. I was on the. Uh, white no, water. that was that was our most recent Disneyland trip, ah. and that was hilarious. <laughs> so, so. Okay. Ah. We gotta let uh, him Sorry. talk again. <laughs> Next. Goodness. Um. Sorry, I'm just trying to recollect. I my told you, it's thoughts. Monday Night Songs all over again. <laughs> oh, you're not the only one to make that joke. I've, everyone's been saying that yep. all constantly in the RC. Um, ah, so this one is from Carnell Kalo. Uh, since Halloween is nearing, I have a spooky question for all. Have you ever had any strange ghost slash paranormal experiences? Oh, okay, yes. can I tell you about the ghost? It's it's this tale at my dance school. Uh, the ghost's name is Julily, and she'll come into the classroom. And the music will just start playing over and over and over again, just at random places. No one is near the speaker at all, and it'll do it all the time. When we had the Welcome Back Barbecue at the beginning of this year, there was this door. None of the windows were open. There was no draft coming from anywhere. The air conditioner was not turned on because we'd all just gotten there to set up for mm -hmm. this barbecue. And this door was just opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing. No one was on the other side of it. Ah, so weird. Let me just say, draft is everywhere, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, and I do, I have, uh, in our house, when we lived in South Dakota, there were some very, 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 very odd things that happened there. Uh, the most odd was <laughs> when, yes, when Nathaniel and I were home alone and the parents and uh, my sisters were out shopping, and we kept hearing what sounded like footsteps upstairs and thinking they were coming home. So we'd turn off the video games <laughs> and go upstairs to help bring in the groceries and they wouldn't be there. And it kept getting more and more intense until about four hours in when we heard footsteps, we heard plastic bags rustling and we heard a little oh. girl's voice. And we walked Whoa. upstairs and the second we hit the landing, everything stopped. We checked the driveway, we checked the parking lot and then we called. Because we thought maybe we didn't know what had happened. We thought maybe they forgot something. They had to go back because we both distinctly heard a little girl talking. Mm. And they said, no, we're on our way home now. We were never at home. And we Gabe. hid in our room and locked the door until they got back. Wait, who wow. Was wow. You're scaring me, Gabe. Stop <laughs> it. I think it was I, I, sister playing a prank on you. No, they were they, they were, were at the store. Yeah. Well, but you don't know that. I bet you uh, they yes, all I played a prank that. on you. No, I do oh. know that. They would have told us because they, we tell. Well, did you, could you hear ultimately. them in the conversation? <laughs> I know. We heard a little girl. And it wasn't the only time no, no, that no, little girl's voice was heard. Hear... And I have a little story oh. where, uh, this is a very short one, where I had a dream when I was pregnant with Michelle. And I was just having this kind of standard run-of-the-mill dream. And then during the dream, 
someone walked in front of the dream as though the dream was on a, a movie screen and this woman walked in front of it and pointed at me and said, it's a girl and walked away. Oh and then my had, goodness. Is that freaky? It was so spooky. Oh, I know. Stop it. And, and then, and then uh, when we were getting the test results, because we did want to know the gender in advance, uh, a, a few, several weeks later, we were waiting for the test oh, results. So weird. And uh, Michael called me. I was out at an appointment, and he phoned, and he said, it's a boy. And I said, what? Uh, not that I would have been disappointed with a boy, but I was so sure. Mm -hmm. The dream was so pronounced. I was so sure that the dream was right. And, he, and I said, I you know, I'm fine with a boy, but I just can't believe I really thought the dream was right. And he said, no, no, your sister just had a boy. Ooh. It was He was phoning to tell me that my sister had just had her my baby. My cousin Addie. And, oh. and then four hours later, they phoned me with my test results and said it's a girl, which so it was right. Mm. It's not bizarre. <laughs> Crazy. Then, and then she also Crazy. had a dream that her car was broken into, and the next day it was broken into the exact same way. Even though the car was nowhere where I could have heard it being broken into or anything. So weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, freaky. Crazy. There are even worse stories about that South Dakota house that I don't. <laughs> you remember <laughs> the one about where my mom was just sleeping? Oh, thing? yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Next. Goodness. <laughs> so this is from Pink Pearl Apple. Uh, the question <laughs> is, I want to ask if Michelle and Dusty would like Christmas presents. Oh. Well, you don't have to. Aww. I mean, oh, no. you gave me a Christmas oh. present last year. I know she did, but she wants to do it again. <laughs> I just love Christmas. Yes. Oh, yes. so exciting. We all love Christmas. And also yeah. she wants to say thank thank you, Michelle, for the card uh, you sent her last year. Oh. Hey, you know, just very quickly, there was, um, speaking of people sending things, uh, there was a person named Edward Peterson that sent Michelle a nice letter and a request for his brother's birthday and unfortunately the return address on the envelope was never completed it doesn't say a city or a country although I'm gonna maybe do some guessing from the postmarks on it and and there's something in here that he wants Michelle to send for his brother's birthday and it's very sweet except for we don't know where to send it oh, to no. so if anybody knows who Edward Peterson is and I or think if you're he's watching. from if you're watching and you could send us an email with the full address, uh, we'd be happy to, to uh, you know, accommodate your request, but we need an address. Yes, do that. Goodness. Next. Goodness gracious. And that, that's a sheer yes for Christmas presents, right? <laughs> <laughs> Take all the Christmas presents. All the Christmas presents. Um. Hmm. Here, yeah, sorry. Uh, so this one's from Galaxy Art. Carl! 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 What's uh, up, buddy? Carl! So, he's, so he wants to ask, can we Europeans uh, ever hope to see some a Griffin slash Creeper tour in Europe? Hmm. Wow, we'd love to do that. We, we were hoping, yeah, we'd love to do that. That would be awesome. Yeah. It's, there's, Let there, me just reach into my infinite money bank. There are... <laughs> 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 there are some um, there are some conventions in Europe that have spoken to us, and uh, actually, Gabe would have come to Buck and performed yes. uh, with Except us and appeared the there. Navy. Except for he had to the no. Navy. He was in the middle of out processing yeah, at the time. The 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 Navy. Navy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whenever I hear that song, all I can think of is when the village people were on the Muppets. Oh. oh, that was an awesome show. <laughs> the Muppets, were the Muppets, really good the original Muppet show was just plain oh, awesome. Yeah. It should have never ended. Their eyes, their eyes. No, it's Are like Doc Brown. Everyone loves the Muppets. Everyone loves no, the Muppets. What's your problem? Was... I love the Muppets. <laughs> Kermy, Kermit the Frog. Kermy. <laughs> nice to see you again, Kermy. Thank you. <laughs> it's like hush now, quiet now. Time to lay your sleepy head. <laughs> Oh, that is just sound on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hi Kirby! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that, oh, no, that just, like just like plays on, freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only Muppet voice I can do. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's Swedish Chef. Swedish Chef. Oh, yeah. no, I that's do know Swedish Chef. That's for Carl. We'll do the Swedish Chef. Heard him, heard him, and he shoot a donut, and a boom. I love it. Here, door spear, day, young, but it's getting in. He ding, de hoom, 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 de hoom,
it's a very good place to be. Place to be. <laughs> Plus. Place. So, so she's ticking off all of the iconic characters. Mm-hmm. Lucy it's Van Pelt, a- Annie, <laughs> uh, yep. Wendy. Next up, Dennis the Menace. Dorothy Next up, and the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Next up is Dennis the Menace. Yep. <laughs> you know. Incredible Hulk. Incre- there you go. Absolutely. Uh, Iron Man. That's Iron Man. I game. love Iron Man. <laughs> He's like one of my... But it's true. Friends. She's doing all the iconic female leads. Yep. One right after the other. Yep. Yep. Soon she's going to be a Disney kid. There you go. <laughs> See you oh, no. Next. <laughs> yep. So this one... Uh, is from Bot117, and I know how you, Michelle, and Grey Kale have just uh, started <laughs> started uh, talking how you guys are in sync with one another when you talk. So then the question from Bot117 is, I'll put to both of you, Michelle and Grey Kale, um, is uh, w- uh, if you guys could shout out James Justice... Shout out James Justice. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just straight up yell his name. Hey, ready? One, two, three. James, James Justice! Justice! Oh my god! There you go. Oh my god, that was really weird. We did that the same voice. <laughs> well, <laughs> I first <laughs> pitch plan that. Good job. Good job. Good. Oh. Bravo. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Don't Mr. Potter. Ooh, that would have been more practical to transfer you, Mr. Potter, into Walker Touch. Then we would have been on time. Done. Ooh. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that spin. I love that line. Ooh. She's so it's almost like she's so it's like she's cute this. in that line. I've lost it's like, it. I don't know. Like, I love so it. Weird. She's just like, I've always wanted Welcome. to do that spin. I'm loving this so much. Do your duty for this school <laughs> Next <laughs> I'm sorry you lost me. Oh my goodness. Okay, gather my Rain it in, screwball. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty finds new sympathy for Final Draft. Yep. Nope. I have no sympathy for Final Draft whatsoever. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Dusty. Someone wrote in, this happens whenever Michelle goes anywhere. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we don't worry about such things. We don't. We don't worry about such things. <laughs> it's past us. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from Violent Bray. Uh, to all, what was your favorite... Oh yeah, that's okay. Well, what was your favorite costume growing up, and what is your favorite Halloween candy? Ah, oh, um. I know that one. Ah, it's an embarrassing question. Answer at least for me. Okay, well, <laughs> my favorite candy is like Kit Kats. Y- yeah, but not as good as like Starburst. <sighs> Or cookies and cream, you get those little Hershey bars, uh-huh. and they have they have you know this little small two piece or caramel. Mm-hmm. Caramel. 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 caramel, caramel teasers, come on! No, 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 no. Caramel, caramel with the cream caramel. in the middle. Caramel. 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 caramel milk. Caramel milk. It's um, yes. It's, it's Cadbury. It's the well, best. Well, I think while, we're talking while about they the debate candy. Halloween candy, I have to bid uh, farewell because I have students uh, waiting oh. for me in the upstairs. Um, but you guys can continue with Safe the Halloween. Bye, Sheo. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dusty. You're welcome. We'll catch you later. I love you, Monique. Yeah, well, very cool. Like, nice to see you, and hope to see you guys again soon. Definitely. Okay. I hope so, Take care. Too. Bye-bye. Yeah. They call, I think, Bye-bye. Are what? they called, what? like, cow what? tails? What? It's like, oh, no, there's, like, um, there's... Well, one of my favorite candy. I love Werther's Originals. I love Reese's. Reese's. Oh my gosh! But it depends on my I mood. I like, I honestly. like the um, the little, the Reese's pieces peanut, like the, the smaller cups. Mm-hmm. I just the chocolate's just not good quality though. That's what bugs me about it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I well, like you, the you idea of quality. having peanut butter and chocolate. Wait, straight up, straight up. Gray kale. What? Say Reese's again. Reese. Gabe, say Reese's. 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 <laughs> it's Reese's. <laughs> Reese's? 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 <laughs> Reese's? Okay. WTF? Were you in Japan man. too long? What? <laughs> what the fuzz nuggets? You don't know yeah, the thing? Well, yeah, it's well, Reese's. Come on. Anyway, oh, um, okay, no, but I, I love those. How and, okay, do you think I my stoop? favorite costume is either is is a toss up between I had this caveman That's costume that was Reese's. literally just a bunch of fur <laughs> that I wrapped around myself, and then um. This is embarrassing, but I'm going to say it because I don't mind burying my soul. When I was, like, eight, I was Tinky Winky, and we all played the Teletubbies. We did. Oh and I loved God. it because we were That's all awesome. the Teletubbies, like and it was so much fun. And I had a 
it was so realistic looking. Mom Amazing. made all our costumes. And it, Amazing. So, so in other words, you're telling me you were Captain Caveman. Uh, Amazing. Captain, yes. I had a great big gigantic club. Yep, made Captain of, Caveman. Of uh, uh, plastic that you could whack people on the head with. It was awesome. Yep. Griffin, do you have pictures? Because I want to see that of Tinky Winky. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a picture of the the uh, the caveman, but Tinky Winky, that one was so old. I I don't I don't know if I have any pictures of that one. Yeah, like <laughs> but I loved it. I loved it. I'm sure your one. mom does. <laughs> no, I'm sure she does. <laughs> I'm sure she does. <laughs> I'll in her "Don't show this to anyone" but, book. Uh, unless I'm blackmailing Gabe. <laughs> that book, yeah. That's the right. Unless I'm blackmailing Gabe. Exactly. Next. So this one is from Flair Cobra, and this one's for Grey Kale. Um, <laughs> question is, if you could go back and do the whole military again, what would you do different? What I would do differently is I would pull my reserve chute. Yeah, when I idiot. Was, shut up. Uh, when I was in free fall. Instead um, of breaking your Instead of breaking my femur, femur and getting dropped from the SEAL program. I would have liked to continue my service in special operations. It was, I felt like I was making a difference. Not that I didn't enjoy the job I did after that, but I really joined the military for special operations and I kind of felt lost for three years after uh, that whole thing happened. So oh, wow. definitely I'd be a little more careful and a little less uh, worried about my image I don't know if you know, but they really tease you very heavily when you have to deploy your reserve. So I just tried to fix it. I couldn't fix it, and I hit pretty darn hard and broke my leg. So that's what I would do differently. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go parachuting now. <laughs> no, no, no. You can. It's very safe if you're not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the I, first one. You know what? I can actually attest to that. Ha! <laughs> See, there's sass on it. There's uh, sass over there, it's, too. It's sass. Uh, what it's, the heck, it's, Dusty? <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. We call uh, our Saturday night, Saturday night sass. Yes. Saturday night sass. sass. There you go. <laughs> Next. Goodness. So this one is from, and I love this name. I'm sure Black Griffin will as well. This one is from White Griffin. <laughs> oh, hello, fellow it's Griffin. Your, it's your fellow evil fellow counterpart. Evil <laughs> I'm probably the evil one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're yeah, the good one because you're black. He's evil because he's white. See, it's reversed. That, what? It's that, it's reversed. I, okay. Oh, I get it. Light and dark. <laughs> yes. It's like duct tape. Okay. It has a light <laughs> side and a dark side. It sticks the world together. It's, this is, this no. is for my Griffin. Question for all. What is your favorite book ever? Ah, oh, Harry oh, Potter series. Michelle. Oh, yeah. The question was much. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to agree as Harry far Potter as series. a series goes. Harry Potter series. For books or Hunger um, Games, I gosh, like the first one. I, really, I don't like the rest of them. I really like. I'm just gonna keep answering um, this Isaac question. Isaac Asimov. I oh. like uh, his stuff. They're very uh, intelligent. But um, hmm, that's a, that's a very good question. I like. Wow, yeah, I like Harry Potter. Really I like Lord of the Rings. Names. I'd probably prefer Lord of the Rings for the way it's written over Harry Potter, just because oh, I feel like it's a little more eloquent. No. I love Narnia. I like love Lord the Narnia the series. The Hobbit. The Hobbit's very, very I enjoy good. the Hobbit movie. I don't actually Artemis Fowl, enjoy though, watching Lord of the Rings. I don't know why I never got into it. It seems like something that I would really like because I love Harry Potter. I, I love you know, Back to the Future. Gay! had not seen it yet. The second Back to the Future. No, oh, I haven't. No. <gasps> watched it. And then we watched it. We're okay. But I remember, I never read Artemis Fowl. Someone says Artemis Fowl. But I remember the commercial that went the new spellbinding adventures of Artemis Fowl. And then it's like, a genius, a criminal mastermind, a millionaire, and he's only 12 years old. That's all. Uh, but I haven't read the book. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. okay. Next. Next. But yeah, the mom and dad and I were all shocked that Gabe hadn't seen this. Well, you haven't seen The Incredibles or Mulan. I know. So, all right, all right, all right. So, all right. Yes. <laughs> so this one is from, uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. Why? Uh, oh, she like changed it. her name. What the heck? <laughs> um, well, Parasol is what I know her by, but her thing says paranormal, which is genius. Oh, that? oh nice. genius. Very good for Halloween. But uh, question for Black Griffin. Please do Dusty the Dusty Cat impression. Oh, Please do the Dusty Cat impression. I, I heard it, but Michelle just took my headphones off. Why did you do? <laughs> uh, do the Dusty Cat impression. Yes, oh. Gabe. Do the uh, Dusty uh, Cat uh, impression. Dusty. Oh, okay. I... I'm a little uh, intimidated right now, but <laughs> all right. Um, here we go. Um, hello, it's Dusty. Welcome to Stay Brony, my friends, with Dusty Cat. That's me and Screwy, my counterpart, partner in crime. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Why do I sound like I'm a '70s cop show? I have no idea. That's what I thought. <laughs> sound like I'm on uh, 
freaking Hawaii Five O or something. Well, you know, I'm just I'm exaggerating. I'm not, you know, it's, just, uh, it's, a, it's a character. It's a character. So yeah, it's funny. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. Imitation is the Someone highest says form of flattery. Obama. No, Obama. Jay Farrow does a great Obama. I, I can't uh, do very good Obama. Uh, yeah. uh, let me be clear. Uh, uh, the American people uh, uh, do uh, things. Uh, uh, this country. Uh, <laughs> Skittles. Right. Skittles. I don't know. What? Uh, country. Uh, Skittles. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm loving it. Yes. Next. Next. Okay, next. <laughs> next. <laughs> so, uh, this one is from uh, Heart Healer. Question for all. Which classic movie monster is your favorite? <gasps> Stitch. I love Stitch. He's so cute. Uh, classic. Uh, Dang it. Classic. Uh, Stitch. 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 He's a classic movie monster. Donald Duck. Black, black and white. Oh, black. Classic. Black and white movie monsters. It doesn't have to be black and white. Classic. <laughs> classic movie monsters. Gold, classic. Wolfman, oh. Frankenstein's monster. You know, oh. Pride of Frankenstein. Oh, I... Old time. I don't have a monster. Yeah, I don't really. I okay, don't have a... I, I know, I know, a classic one. It's not black and white, but Alien. I love the movie Alien. There you go. How about that? E.T. Oh, E.T. Yes. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, she scared the crap out of me. I, 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 you, I, I have a fear of aliens. Okay. <laughs> Uh, aliens? Then you yeah. shouldn't see aliens. Ab I'm, I'm going for Ab Abbott Costello versus the Wolfman. The Wolfman. Yes. Oh yeah, Wolf. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Wolfman. That was the first uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. Um, werewolf. Yes. The first Wolverine. X Men. Next. Okay, that's my answer. Uh, oh, here we go. So this one's from Silver Slinger. Uh, question from Michelle. Has the Brony fandom influenced your voiceover performance of Apple Bloom in any way since season one? See, a lot of um, fans ask us voice actors that question, and it hasn't changed the voice. I mean, if anything, we've just gotten better at doing our character voices because we've been using them so often, you know, when we're traveling and doing conventions every month. You just, uh, you, you really you keep your voice uh, in tip-top shape, you know what I'm saying? No. But, um... No. Sorry. You're just so I'm sassy. Sorry. My goodness. <laughs> but, um, I think just generally it's... Uh, um, the experience in the recording studio has really improved. Because, well, not improved, but it's, it's become a lot more comfortable because, um... We've really gotten to know each other, us voice actors, you know? We've been traveling together and just sort of talking outside of work. And so when you go into the session, you'll have inside jokes that you can talk about. You know, when you were, let's say we were at, at Equestria LA, oh, that was so fun when we did, you know. Yeah. It's just, it's generally more chill now. That's good. Tabitha brings more cookies. Oh, God, Tabitha. Yeah. She's a, I think she's. Or some crabbage. On Friday. Spring mm -hmm. more crabbage. 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 Oh, that's right. That's that was that YouTube video. I remember now. Yeah. Check, uh, check out Tabitha's YouTube channel. She has one now. I didn't what? know that until she yes. commented on our fifty thousand sub video. I was oh, like, wait. What? Well, she it didn't say Tabitha, but it was a picture of a moose, and it was yeah. a super long comment. Then I read, uh, I was like, this sounds like yeah. yeah so I just replied, "Oh, look a moose," and then I put her because she's so original. <laughs> But, uh, you know. I was there when that started. Yeah, I know. That. that was amazing. Uh, look, I was very smart of So Tabitha. impressed. Look, a Griffin. Next. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to come um, encounter with this vicious beast. Vicious. Ruthless. He will stop yeah. at nothing. Oh my goodness! Do that again. Okay. <laughs> I can't really do it. Oh right my now. goodness! Hey, dude, this, is what, this is what my tiger sounds like. Uh, <laughs> kill it! But I have a great impression of it. That. <laughs> Don't. Okay, he, here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. I can. I heard that. Oh, I beg to differ. Thank you. What? You better oh, yeah. say thank you. <laughs> what the fuzz nuggets? <laughs> 
Say buy some apples. I was, I was worried that you weren't going to be able to finish that <laughs> sentence. Buy some apples. There you go. There you buy go. some apples and then I, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was just weird. Next. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are too much. Whoa, Black Tiger. This is hilarious. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. Um, so this is from Dot One Pony. Uh, question is, can Gabe and Michelle start harmonizing? <gasps> Ooh, what should we sing? I don't know. Let's sing a song. Oh. Ha, ha. Ready? You think I like uh, cheese? Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, no, 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 I like cheese. Ready? This okay. is a song that All we right. made up. Uh, I don't have hammers with oh, me, but that's hammers. the instrument. That's okay, I can use my fingers. Oh, no, 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 you gotta, you gotta get pencils well, or the... something. Okay, oh, here's a pen. It's ridiculous. Oh, no, 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 Sharpie, Sharpie. Sharpie, oh, that's much better. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Ready? Ready. You start. I like cheese when it's in my pocket. I, I like, like cheese, cheese when it's in my pocket. pocket. I like cheese when it's in my pocket. There's really got to be more to this I know, it does. Can we, can we just go on forever? Hey, you know, we could recite, though. Um, hmm. <clears throat> my mom, mom took, took me to the grocery store. And everything was candy corns. Everything is spinning in my mind. Ho, way, ho, who, way, ho, who, way, ho, way, way, ho, way, ho, Okay, let's move on to our next topic. Okay, but I had one more round of who, hey, ho. I think it's better if we move on. Girl, your voice is a treasure. Why, thank you, Tara. A treasure that needs to say Barry Zazu Zerd. Um, wow, I haven't seen this much deception since Donna showed me those letters from her ex-husband. So why don't you just, just sit, sit down, down homie, homie geez? Morgan, what are you talking about? about? I don't know! That kind of went beyond what we were uh, intending, actually. <laughs> we always oh my... We can't uh. stop. <laughs> that is amazing! Like it is my pocket. Hey, Dusty's got a great voice for that song. <laughs> oh my goodness. Next! I love you guys. Just straight up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, uh, screwing, we're at, we're at that time, man. I'm just looking at the oh, clock. Oh, no. So, yep. This can't end. This is too much fun. I know. We got, we got, give me that one good question, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good note. Yeah. That was a, a little flat, but that it was, was a good note. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll bring on the question that I've been saving. That question. So this one is from Eileen Monty. <gasps> Monty, I love you. Okay. Monty. <laughs> Love you. And the question is, it's a three-parter, but I don't know which one to choose. She did a brilliant cover of Faster Than You Know, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Yes. She and Austin Hall. I'm straight here. up, yes. Make straight up awesome. Made up uh, awesome. I'll put, uh, what's your fave musical? Oh, oh Wicked. Into the Woods. I love oh, Wicked and Into the, into the woods. woods. I love Into the Woods. Didn't we? Love... Yesterday I said, yeah. I said Wicked and Into the Woods are my two favorites. Yeah. I, I, and it's it's really a toss-up between those two. Those I love woods. Wicked, and I love, love Into the Woods. Into the woods. I haven't Sondheim. seen Wicked yet. Uh, I, I will never, ever say oh. Annie is my favorite musical. I just That's just never something that I'm ever going to well, say. Well, like, there are musicals I like. I just have done it so many times, yeah. I can't even stand it. It's just, oh. I mean, yeah. Well, so I don't, many it's times. It's, it's sort of like but, uh, I worked seven years in a seafood restaurant. I can't even look at the stuff. I'd say yeah. my three favorite musical, Wick, Wicked, um, The Producers, and Into the Woods, in that order. Oh, I love the producers. I totally forgot. I was, yeah. I enjoy Les Mis, but I, I saw the movie, and it's just so much better. Like, I, for me, I just need to it be connected amazing. with the characters. I can't see their faces, you know? The music yeah, on is stage brilliant is live, but the It's just too depressing. Was... Like, I like Russell something that's got Crow, a though, range of Russell stuff. Russell Crowe, and... though, was Oh, that was terrible. horrible. He's actually, um, he used to be pretty... pretty He's a like, great actor, cool but he, he can't see Um, it. my uncle... And his business partner, um, his my uncle's business partner, they started a company called Profiction. And I just sat on his porch but, like but a, his, a couple um, months ago in Australia. Yeah. That's weird. Oh yeah, and so um, Brett is his, is my uncle's business partner name, and he uh, directed The Lawnmower Man, and which was the biggest IMAX movie before Jaws. Yeah. Ooh. And he actually discovered Russell Crowe, and he's a pretty cool guy. That's epic. Nice. Oh, seems... Russell Crowe, come on. I love him. 
I do too, but he really, unfortunately, just he wasn't good for the part. Yeah, in the actually, Miz. He just, he actually, yeah. He just, I do, but I love Russell Crowe. I loved him in actor. Master and Commander. Oh my yeah. god. I loved him. I loved him in Gladiator so much. Oh, that oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. I loved I him, him, but only in the... I don't remember what you just said. <laughs> only in the movie Gladiator. <laughs> only in the movie. And with that, before I lose the show even more... Sorry. We're going to go with a weekly call-out sheet of the wonderful shows you can watch right here on Everfree Network. We start off on Mondays with this show, Stay Brony My Friends, and then we go into Tuesdays, QDR Crusaders, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, where the CAC find the best art this fandom has to offer and tells you why... It's so good. Then, the inventory at KPNY, Wednesdays on the Odd Weeks, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, radio drama where the ponies of Equestria discover us and have to figure out what the hell to do with us. So, check that one out. Equestria Inquirer is on hiatus at the moment, but they'd normally be on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Into the Spotlight with Osaka Jack, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, focuses on the person behind the brony and gets the spotlight that they deserve. Check it out this week because he's got a wonderful guest from the Swedish show, so check that one out. Sketchy Sounds, live songcast, Thursdays, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, two-hour live set played by Sketchy for you live. Check that one out. Post my video with Jay Holler and Beavids Thursdays, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. The premiere video and animation showcase interviews with guests showing off new content every week. Check it out. On the radio side, Lunar Republic Takeover, Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Nightmare Moon herself takes over this radio station and plays your requests all night long. Check it out. Mixology with DG One, pfft, DJ, not DG, DJ One Trick and DJ Midley Saturdays, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Two awesome DJs give you all the wubs you could ever want. Check it out. Eastern Sounds with Frozen Sound is Saturdays, 11 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. A two-hour live mix of Brony dance music scheduled for the European time zones for our European friends. Check that one out. Then Saturday night songs with who? Marshall Jackson. Machal Jackson, yes, that's right. Machal Jackson is going to have Saturday Night Songs Saturday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. The Kreber Clan will bring you the fun times when they're not out on the road. Oh, yeah. Taking you there. Yes. Blue Screen Bronies, Sundays, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern is the gaming show. The guys tell you all the great games and the games to avoid, so check it one out. And then Sundays, Pegasisters Live, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, where Emily and her new partner Tay will tell you all about the fandom from the Pegasus point of view, sort of like we do here. And that is all the wonderful content you can watch every week right here on Air awesome. Christmas Network. Why do I Isn't hear awesome? the Christmas CD play? <coughs> I hear Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas time. Christmas time. Okay. Christmas. No, that's no, not yet. It's only October. Oh, well, we gotta work too early. Why do I hear so, oh, I love that shirt. And our new shirt is available right now at oh, redbubble.com. Check it out. Go to Everfree Network at Redbubble. You'll see this shirt. It's available. Go buy it. It's awesome. You get any color you want. So check that one out. You can get, even get it in a sticker. So check that out. So we come to the end of the program. Here we are. We love you all. Thank you we guys love so you much all. for having us. Yes, thank you. Yeah, Go to sick. Michelle and Monique and to Black Griffin and to Gail and Carolyn at the Characters Talent Agency. Care to win. My wonderful roommate helps me do all this stuff. Amy, my wonderful girlfriend. Can't forget her. EFN, Screwy, and all you out there who come to watch me make a damn fool out of myself every time I turn on camera. <laughs> every time. Thank you we much for supporting us all. and giving us all the help that you do when we do charity also. So with that, with that, we're pretty much out of here. You guys got anything, last, last words you want to say? Um... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Um, no. Maybe. Hey. What, 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 what else do we know? Ratatouille. Hey. Rat Why do they hey. call that? What? Ratatouille. It's, it's like, like a, a stew, stew, right? right? Ratatouille. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We should. No, what should we say? Cause... Do do some do something in Apple Bloom's voice. I think that's what people want to hear. Do some Apple Bloom, and then we'll. I don't know. Pop out. Aren't you gonna stay for brunch? There you. No, we can't. We can't stay for brunch. The show's over. Ew, thank you. <laughs> All right. With that, we love you guys. We're out of here. We'll be back in two weeks. Go over to the, go over to manlysbrony.com and give some money over there, and we'll catch you in two.
Bye. 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 <laughs> 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 Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. We hate to leave you, but we'll be back soon. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night.